On September 17th, we celebrate Constitution Day, the day when these 39 individuals signed the document that is the Constitution of the United States. Now, saying we celebrate the Constitution, today a lot of people don't really celebrate the Constitution because they don't like the Constitution and, and, and they don't want to do anything, have anything to do with the Constitution because these guys were terrible and the Constitution's terrible and we're going a different direction but probably just because they don't know much about the Constitution that they have those positions and opinions. Yeah, that, that really is true. We don't know much about the Constitution Day, even by polling. Polling shows that 48% of elected officials can't even name the three branches of government, and that's our elected officials. But that was not a problem we had in previous generations because we studied the Constitution from a very early start, and we're supposed to today. I mean, federal law still says on Constitution Day, every public school is a set-aside time to cover the Constitution. 90% of schools don't do that. It's interesting that, yeah, in schools we're supposed to learn about the Constitution, and today most people have no idea about any of the sections or clauses in the Constitution. But as you mentioned, early education used to be different. This is an early education textbook. In fact, this is an elementary Constitution textbook. Now, most high school students don't study the Constitution, but this was elementary. And by the way, I would even point out that most adults probably couldn't answer these elementary questions. So, so, so what year is that? This is an 1828 so elementary school textbook. Elementary. In 1828, we're studying the Constitution. So here's some of the questions. May members of Congress be arrested, that is seized by a sheriff or constable, for debts they owe while they are attending to their public duty? Now, I, I would like to see how many Supreme Court justices could answer that. Well, what's interesting is, so, so the answer, it says, is the answer is no, unless they meet one of the three exceptions. So the next question is, what are the three exceptions to this case? And then the answer is, if they've been guilty of treason, a felony, or a breach of peace. Then it says, well, when is a person guilty of treason? The next question is, if members of Congress, while engaged in debate, that is, in arguing about any law that is proposed to be made, shall say anything offensive to a member, may he be sued for it by any other in a court of law. That's elementary stuff. This is what they were doing in elementary school. And the Constitution is not that. Seven articles, takes about 20 minutes to read it, but we were going through that in elementary school. And actually, you know what? If you want to have this little elementary catechism challenge, why don't you look on the link today and see if you can pass this elementary catechism on the Constitution.